Now, let me give you an example if the student happens to be previous charter, previous 121 airlines, right? Maybe they came from flying a regional jet. And so when the student says, yeah, man, my background is 121, I was flying a CRJ, an ERJ, right? Or maybe they say I was 135, I was flying a beach jet. Look, at that point, now my thought process starts changing into, okay, where are the areas where this student is gonna have uh, difficulties, right? Now, if the aircraft you're training on happens to be an airplane that has the engines mounted under the wings and the student is now telling me that they came from an RJ, I'm already starting to think V1 cuts likely going to be an issue, possibly due to what? The lack of centerline thrust. Okay, maybe they're coming from previous 135 charter experience and I'm thinking now the pushback sequence is gonna be an issue for them. Why? Because they never parked at a jet bridge. They maybe didn't have any flight attendants. Okay, maybe the jet they were on was large enough to have flight attendants, but it certainly wasn't a dynamic environment with many passengers getting on and off the aircraft at one time, parts breaking, need to call maintenance personnel, need to call baggage handlers, gotta call gate agents, fuelers, right? Gotta call company, dispatch, ops. So based on the background, I'm already assessing mentally, right? And to myself as the instructor, where are the deficiencies gonna lie with this particular student, right? And so this is something that once you train enough um, pilots with different backgrounds for enough time, you'll start to realize which pilots are the ones that have the deficiencies in the different areas. I'm going to cover that with you here in a later video.